Hello, 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 Facebook. Oh, look at the sun ray I have going there. Mm -hmm. Hey, honey, it's Val and me and King Boss are going out for a little evening stroll in my neighborhood. I actually, I actually thought he'd go for a walk, but he won't. <laughs> he gets scared and nervous and he jumps up almost as high as my waist. It's amazing to get up into my arms and he won't go for the, the walkies. So there you go. If you're just tuning in to me and I come up in your feed, I'm Val Cripps. I'm an artist, I'm a visionary guide and leader, and I lead people to their greatest habits of life, really. And habits of life are a choice. And what I'm really seeing about myself and my clients and others is how much what the way we think is a habit. And I really just wanted to pop on and drop this truth bomb and ask you, what are your habits around the way you think? The way you think about yourself, the way you think about money. And I'm not just talking about shifting your beliefs like 1% and then hoping that that would make a change. We're talking about like, what are you thinking about all day? And when you wake up at three o'clock in the morning, and what's your plan? when you do have thoughts that uh, make you feel like shit and take you into a space of reminding you of where you are in your life that you don't want to be, what do you do about it? How do you shift those beliefs? How do you get into a beautiful habit of thinking the best for yourself so that you can actually let it happen? Because a lot of us are still operating under the paradigm, what's in front of me is because it's something I've done. And the truth is, is what's in front of me is something I've thought about. And it's not what you, you know, oh, I think once and then all this bad shit happens. It's like your constant habit of thought and what's running through your brain and being day in and day out, moment to moment, time after time. And the aggregate of those thoughts. If you really catch yourself and what you think about throughout your experience, you'll realize, oh my God, I've been thinking like really shitty stuff. What's up? You want to get in on the show? Yes. Hello, lovey. I never thought I'd let a dog lick my face, but I'll let my baby lick my face. <laughs> so I'm heading over here to have a little supper and to meet some neighbors, maybe. I like to get out a lot. I give my card out to people every day that I'm out. People ask me, they stop and talk to me with the puppy and see my cards when I'm doing readings. And they say, ooh, I wanna know more. And they take my card and sometimes they book in. I love local clients. Hey, Shauna. So um, if you have more questions about this, I'm really diving into it. I'm reading a lot of material. I've invested in a couple mentors because this is a habit that I've had a hard time breaking, especially when it comes to money. Um, I'm doing okay in the self-love and the love department, but when it comes to money, I think I have some really bad habits that I'm shifting. And, there's, and you know, when we have deep, core beliefs that have been formed since childhood and um, we don't even know they're there. Those are the ones that fuck with us. Hello, my girl. I've been missing you. I hope you're feeling better. And yeah, if, if any of you have my empaths, highly sensitive, we're feeling tired today or weird or whatever, there's this uh, solar storms happening. And so <laughs> there's a lot of... Um, energy to process and a lot of shifts going down so let yourself be kind to yourself <coughs> what you eating He's trying to eat a leaf um, drink a lot of water rest if you can catch naps in between your experiences and um, that's what I got for you today I, I'm saving my energy too I was actually feeling really um, mentally and emotionally I feel fabulous but my body felt physically tired today so um, that's all I got on this main page today. Um, I may come back on later or tomorrow and do some readings, um, but I'm really enjoying doing this deep work and um, bringing it through. I'm designing my next program. I'm meeting with both of my mentors tomorrow to really shape the words, because um, that's another thing I'm learning is how to convey what I'm doing in a way that is more clear than the way it comes out in my head. You know, you can be super gifted healer, super gifted artist, and you may not really know how to share what you're doing, and that's okay. You gotta learn. Anything you don't know how to do, you learn. Hey, Pipa Luke. So, look, I'm at these little outdoor cafes here, 
And I'm, I do have, I didn't bring any cards with me, so I won't be doing any readings, but um, I will be writing, writing and creating for the Valtopia Sphere. So <laughs> it's good to see you guys. Oh, look, there's seven of you on here. Say hello, everybody. I should, I should have been in the studio to get a crew on. It's lovely to see you. I've been exhausted. Yeah, I've been feeling tired too. That's why I thought, well, look at my hair. It's all like glowing. Hey, honey. What you got to say, KB? Huh? What you got to say? <laughs> All right. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Talk to me about your habits of belief and thought. Do you need help? I'm learning some really good shit. <laughs> I love to talk about this. And I was talking to a friend today who's really had some huge highs and some huge lows. And we can really pin it down to her belief system and the reversion, the reversion, the revert to old thoughts and stories that keep pulling her back into an old reality that just doesn't, doesn't have to be true anymore. And that's, that's where a lot of us get fucked up and it's okay. It's part of our shaping. It means we're not ready and we get to change that story. So, oh, I'm freezing. All right, well then I'll get off. Blessings to you guys. Own your frequency, mind your thoughts, poke, stoke your beliefs, change your life. Wanna know how? Private message me, I'm here. Oh, your frequency supernova. Nobody like you. Say bye. Mm.